Right, so I thought we'd bring back an old series that I cracked out back in the day. This was OG CCNC, which was 2018, his kind of star, and it was all about who was good, uh, going to be good. Anyway, this was all about Mahali Kudus, and then I basically made some episodes over here. So you can see I, I did five. We're going to go through, review them, obviously in 2018, but also uh, further on. And then tomorrow is going to be my first star for 2024, uh, which hopefully goes slightly better than some of these, because some of them were not good. Anyway, we'll, we'll do a quick review on each one now. So first of all, Mahali Kudus. Uh, we'll go through 2018 season first. So Mahawi Kudas 2018, sixth in community at Valenciana stage, 15th overall, top 10 Oman, that's all right. He didn't really, you know, ninth in Romandy again, World Tour race. He didn't really light the world on fire. He did win the national champs. Uh, Burgos, he finished seventh. So I would actually say, I think I did an okay job on this. Probably didn't go as well as I expected him to go. But you can see 2019 won Tour of Rwanda. 2022, he won the um, Eritrean World Champs again. 2019, third GC in Tour of Turkey. Second, Adriata Ionica. So I actually reckon <clears throat> I'm going to go for it. He was a good, good, good pick. Uh, he didn't massively increase, but nonetheless, I do think he was a pretty decent pick. Um, no, you know, maybe not as, as well as it, it could have gone, uh, but we'll go to the next one. Jakub Marechko. Now, he was just useless. Um, you know, he's won at... 18 stages of Tor Taihu Lake. Unfortunately, he hasn't done much else. Um, and, you know, this was 20... This is 2018. Um, so this is when I thought they'd be good. Again, you can see Tor Sharjah gets some wins. Antalya second. But going to the big races, sixth in the Torino sprint. Um, then he went to Tor Morocco, which obviously just cleaned up on. Um, and then he went to Giro, second, fourth, sixth, DNF. So not great. And I kind of expect him to get a Giro stage when he didn't. Then he went to Tour of China Part 1, didn't win. Tour of China Part 2, did win. Tour of Taihu Lake obviously wins because he's just a king there. And then won in Tour of Hainan as well. So to be fair, it was an okay season. But did he really step up what I thought he would do? No. Um, I don't, you know, his, his best wins, maybe ZLM Tour in 2023. I really don't think he's gone as much as people, or as I thought back then. I thought he was going to join a big team because 2018 he was, you know, it looked like he was going to have a big year. Alas, no. Uh, Jack Haig. Now, again, I would say 2018, pretty rubbish season. Uh, in reality, probably not what he expected. 13th in Tour of Swiss is impressive, but again, not like crazy. However, you know, podiumed Welter, stay, uh, podiumed Welter overall, I think he's a good pick from me. I, I took this after his stage one in Tour of Poland, so I actually reckon, to be honest, fair, that was a good pick from me. I'm going to say he has performed. Jack Hay was a good pick. Um, and I do think back then, you might think, oh, it's obvious. He wasn't, he was good. Obviously, he won a stage in Poland, but he wasn't like outrageous. Um, so I would say Charlie did a good job in that, in that uh, pers perspective. Now, Ryan Mullen. Now, again, 2018, he actually didn't do too badly. He moved to Trek. He said he was going to revolutionize his time trial position. Um, anyway, he won the first TT, he did. And I was like, I actually am a genius. Like, sorry, but I am a genius. Um, alas, this did not turn out to be big genius. He did get 130 UCI points, but you can see again, like 24th in Algarve TT. This is all about TTs, by the way. 19th in Terreno TT. Um, 13th in Ajiro TT. It's not bad, is it? But it's not like, poor. He did win Irish TT champs, but again, that's not that wild. 6th in European TT champs. Again, I would say, actually, uh, okay, you might say Austria was bad, but Austria had a massive climb in it. I would actually say I did quite a good job in um in pit saying he would do well in 2018. Okay, he hasn't done mega, mega, mega. But I do think he had stepped up in his TT. So I'm going to go success. Not not great success, but decent success. Dylan Van Baal, again, you might go, that was pretty obvious. Because 2017, he had a good classic season, but it wasn't like outrageous. 2018, he did not step up at all. His best result was 12th in Flanders, which obviously is a good result. But it wasn't like a big step up from the year before. However, then he went on to win Roubaix, Duas d'Or Flandre, and Het Nice, blah. I mean, he was good. And like, I know you're probably like, you won Tour of Britain in 2014. He wasn't that unknown. And I, I do agree. Um, but I do think he had a big step up. And okay, second in Welter as well in the year I predicted it. So I actually do reckon that was not the worst call I've ever made. Um, but still, like, you know, I would say that was a mild, mild success. 
of my predictions. If you look at 2017, the big one was fourth in Flanders, which obviously is like mega. So I wouldn't really say he stepped up that much the year after in comparison. However, obviously, he then went to win Roubaix. So that is pretty big. But anyway, that's kind of my my thoughts. So did I do a good job? I would say mm, average job. But I did pick quite safe riders. This year, we're going to go more wild. Um, and the first rider is pretty special. Uh, he's been Jay Vine up Rocker Corba. Uh, he's done almost eight was Pekita for five minutes, so it's going to be good. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll be back with Stars of 2024 tomorrow.